the first thing we'll do is to pick our cassava peel as you can see we are selecting a cassava peel to make sure we remove waste two bars and sticks these are some of the two bars sticks and waves waste that have been removed we have to take our time to do it to make sure that what we have is only a cassava peel And after picking it, we have to weigh it. As you can see, this is 10 kg cassava peel. We have scaled 10 kg of the cassava peel. Ten kg of the cassava peel and four kg of the PKC. We have measured four kg palm kernel cake. At the ratio of 5 is to 2. The next we take it to our grinding mill for grinding. As you can see our machine is set and the, we have started our grinding process. The PKC helps the cassava peel to grind faster. It fastens the process of grinding. As you can see the PKC is pushing out the cassava peel faster than it, it was coming out. This is our ground cassava peel with thick KC. 50 kg cassava peel with PKC. The next we measure our poultry dropping. The 50 kg ground cassava peel we we'll go with an equivalent 10 kg of poultry dropping. It's a 10 kg of poultry dropping. The next stage is to miss it. We miss the ground cassava peel, PKC, and the poultry droppings. As you can see, the missing process is on. We have to mix it thoroughly with our hands. To make sure we have a thorough mixture. As you can see on your screen, the mixing process is on. We have to mix it thoroughly. And after mixing, we take it back to the mill for proper mixing. The grinding mill helps us to mix the PKC, cassava peel, and the poultry drop it thoroughly. And after that, we start our bagging process. As you can see, the mixture is bagged with polythene bag. To prevent air from penetrating. After bagging, we will keep it for 14 days to ferment. 14 days fermentation. After the fermentation, you can see our product. We have to dry it. And after drying it, we bag it and store for future use. Store for future use.